What's going on, guys? All right. Um, I'm noticing Amazon is starting to do certain weird things uh, because they're getting ready for their Prime Day. But what I've noticed a lot of times is some of the best deals actually happen uh, right before. And then some other things happen, too. I think they raise the prices on certain things before Prime Day or for a while beforehand. That way they can drop the prices, making you think that you got a deal. Um, but I haven't looked at the price of these batteries lately. And um, I haven't seen a whole lot of really good deals or anything in a while. So we're just going to take a quick look on here. And see what we can find. Um, if there's anything. So these ones here, uh, six amp hour, any of these kind like this for 20 bucks aren't too bad. Um, this is kind of the form factor of one of the ones I use. Um, problem with these is you end up having to solder the tabs on there. They're just, if you're, if they're not like in a UPS and left alone, they're just not going to handle well. So I try to avoid those type of batteries. Uh, this one here is good. Um, but I try to avoid them. And I try and get the kind that have screws on the top. It just makes life a little bit easier. This one might be good. $17 for a 6 amp hour. The one that I'm using. And... This is just for like the QRP radios. Is that one there? And I soldered the connectors on it. You need to be careful because uh, where it goes in, you can melt it. But um, if I run a 100 watt radio on it, because it can go more than six amps. It's six amp hours. That's what it's designed to, like, you know, supply over a period of time. It's usually rated not like 12 hours or anything, like something weird, you know, like eight and a half hours or something. But that six amp hour rating doesn't mean that the, the battery can't give you more than six amps. So instantaneous on voice peaks on sideband, it can provide, it can provide way more than six amps. I think it can go up to about 15, which is fine for an HF radio. So, if you need to make a quick sideband contact, and you want to use 100 watts, it will do it. As long as all your connections are good. It's not something that you wanted to go and take to the park with you, and try and operate 100 watts sideband for an hour. Um... But if you're going to run 5 to 50 watts, it works fine for a while. See, 19, yeah, the average price is about 20 bucks for one of those. Seems like a motorcycle battery of some sort. So maybe we'll see some of these go on sale. Um, I guess this right here, this one here is the form factor you kind of want. Because um, it has the screws on the top and it's not really that big. And these things are all, you know, pretty damn light. Um, I remember buying a, a lawn tractor battery for portable. Not really seeing any any kind of deals on here. I wonder if there's a way to to 
filter this a little better. Ten amp hour twenty nine. Uh, let's go up here. We need to do apparently nothing less than nineteen dollars. We don't want to look at anything more than forty dollars. It's really a pain with Amazon to try and narrow things down. To where you're not looking at lots of crap. They're very, um. They're very manipulative about your search results and how they serve up the results to you. They want to make sure that you're spending hours, hours, and hours on Amazon looking. Eight amp hour, it's probably not really eight. You gotta look at the form factor of the battery. And then we also know, like I opened the battery before where half the battery was empty. So, it looked like a 20 amp hour battery, but it was probably 10. It was still a really good deal. I'm not sure why um, it's not giving me more uh, choices here. Anyway, there isn't, uh, there's nothing on here yet, so maybe, um, there's a 5% coupon on some of these, but that, you know, what we're looking for is, like, the big discounts, you know, 15, 20, 30, 50% off, you know, so, nothing yet, you know, let's go take a look and see, um, uh, let's see. We'll go with something else. Ham radio. Just to see what the hell comes up. By the way, it looks like you can order your um, Zygu X6200 on Amazon now. I've not been really following anything. I saw the one video from Temporarily Offline Steve about the transmission problems the PA weird behavior. After that I just kind of quit watching any kind of videos on it. And what I determined is I'll wait until that thing's been out for a while before I even you know pay attention to anything about it because there's not been enough time between for everybody to really figure out what's up with that thing. But I'm confident there's a bunch of problems with it. It's funny how when you type in ham radio all you really get is handhelds. And there isn't really any deals on these. Everything just kind of stays the same and says limited time deal forever. I did notice the um, the radio with the two batteries and the programming cable finally um, disappeared, sold out. I'd like to see some deals on these, you know, mobile radios. Um, be nice if more people would use mobile radios and get on 2 meter simplex 440 simplex and stop relying on these repeaters and also you know the other thing too is it kind of develops a different type of operator that's a little bit more casual and laid back I just really don't like using repeaters or relying on repeaters or you know something goes wrong with the repeater you know you gotta wait for them to do something about it 
But if you operate Simplex and you have your own station, something goes wrong, you take care of it, you fix it. So I was thinking about ordering one of these to review because it has uh, Bluetooth. There's a there's a twenty nine dollar one. I don't know how long it's going to stay on sale for. That's kind of why I was like, well, maybe I should order it before it disappears. Wouldn't mind checking out one of these. I don't know why they can't. Uh, why they can't uh, make a, like a 50 watt radio? We've got the uh, Zing Zing DeLong. Um, this is a really good price for a UBK5 with a goofy brand name on it. I wonder why they don't just sell it with the Quan Shang name on it. You know, I mean, like, why do they want their name on it? But what is cool about their deal is you get the stock everything, but it looks like there's 771 antennas, a USB cable, and actually give you a headpiece, earpiece. I don't think that that came with anything. You know, the writing of that company's name actually looks extremely similar to um, Quan Shang. I wanted to see, I'm trying to think of what I did with my box. Um, or maybe I'm thinking of another company. Um, let me see here. Well, that one looks like that. So it's not that. I also think, um... Bofang and Quan Shang might be the same company. It's just a simple reason for that. First of all, they're making radios that use designs that would be copyright infringement between the two. But that that's a Quan Shang box. And that's a Bofang box. And they honestly look the same to me in construction down to the size of the box so for Bofang to make a radio that has that speaker grill that Quan Shang has tells me that either there's an agreement or they're owned by the same company or something of that effect now I'm trying to figure out what the hell happened to this other box. Um, there's another one right here that doesn't quite match up and that was the K-Sun box for the um, Well, that's very strange. So, we have a K-Sun, a K-Sun box and an earlier uh, Quan Shang box. They're actually the same size. If we look at the more recent box, with the more recent boxes, and they're a hair bigger, but they're obviously coming from the same place. So this probably is 
the K6. But I have no way to know I need to start using these USB cables that are in these boxes too because I've been going through cables like crazy. There's a perfectly good cable. Um, anyway, so that's interesting that these two are that size. And then I'm not even sure which one that is. I guess that's the big one. But I hadn't really thought about any of this before. That one should be about the same. I need to get rid of that radio. Got no use for it. Um Look at all these damn radio boxes. <laughs> I think uh, there's a couple more I can't find. And if you look at some of these things, it says made in China 4K, son. So, I don't know what the TFSI is, but that actually used to show up on the thing. But um, basically, you can tell that these are made by somebody else. KSEN seems to be a company that doesn't really make any of their own products. So I did notice I was looking at some of the Quan uh, Chang boxes and they do come with the goofy earpiece. Um, so that's normal. Um, I pulled out a bunch of USB cords. So we're going to start using these. See, I've never tested any of them. Y'all look like pretty identical um, yeah these all look pretty similar I've been having a lot of trouble finding good USB-C cords and so like yesterday I was at the grocery store my phone was like 11% and then we got like these three really bad cables in the truck and I, I couldn't get my phone to charge. It was just like saying it was going to take seven hours to charge. So anyway, um, I've just been looking at USB cables and stuff. And then I realized I've got a bunch of them that I've never messed with in some of these radios. Wait a minute, let me just see that up here. I wonder why they do that. These radios here are all kind of interesting. The Any Tones, TYTs, Striker versions. So I think this is like a version of a Striker. They don't seem to budge on the price on these. These are always $30. And I bought one. I really like it. Um, I've dropped it a lot, actually. Um, what I'd like to see is them come out with one where this little spot right here. Add some buttons right here, guys. Let's get rid of this goofy thing here and add some buttons. Put the speaker behind the button like uh, Bofang did. Bofang's got a speaker that's behind the keypad. It works really good on the uh, UV-17s. That's, uh, in my opinion, a very innovative design. That's a speaker in there. Now, of course, they didn't add the extra buttons that I'd like to see either. Um, they, they have more buttons, but they don't have the A and B, and they don't have the um, VFOA. 
B. And uh, what's the other one? Memory. So, when we're looking at it, let me see here. So they've got three rows, the buttons, just the number keypad. Oh, you see what they did? Actually, it's kind of interesting. Um, the number keypad goes three across and there's four columns and then like on Bofang it goes four across and there's three columns when technically it goes five across but the, the issue here so this does have an A and B button it does have these up and down buttons and it does have this like menu button which is nice but I just think they could have used the real estate a little bit better and designed a better radio. I'd love to be able to design like a radio myself, you know, with all the ideas that I know I find useful in radio. I think that the problem is that just like these radios aren't designed by people that are operators. And so many of them have this format where you see now <clears throat> we've got these buttons here and they have multiple purposes when you long press them you know this is also an interesting type of radio here and when they had the TP8 plus it was one of the first ones to really have that USB-C on it with the 999 memories but the problem was you couldn't do anything with it because it wasn't supported by chirp and it was like frequency locked so they still having kind of a deal on this one um, I really do like this radio um, I think all the rad tell radios are kind of a step up from a lot of the other stuff but I didn't really care for the antenna that came with these but then it seems like it actually works okay it just feels cheap So this one I think has a, maybe uh, a better speaker or just better receiver than some of the other ones. Yeah, see right here, here's the radio. So if you uh, order it, you can get it um, for 29 on Prime. And this one here has the usual buttons. So you do have a VFO memory button. And there's a Bluetooth button and it has I think maybe more of a talk pod format of a display so it's possible that maybe this one will show us our frequency and channel name at the same time and then also um, possibly display PL tones and things like that uh, while it's transmitting the um, the RT-890 does that, and I thought that was really cool. So this, like, literally programs with a USB-C cable directly. No Bofang cord needed. No K-plug. In fact, I don't think you can plug it with a K-plug. Or, I mean, program it. Um, now, the Bluetooth programming probably requires you to consent to third party spying and craps and apps you know um, some of these things have the sketchiest looking apps like I bought these uh, 4k fake kind of GoPro type of cameras and it's got this app that you can only use if you consent to having GPS and all this other crap on all the time. But anyway, I thought about buying one to check out. Um, I suppose I could probably appropriate uh, $29 for something better than that. Maybe uh, another battery. So the 890 is about $29. 
So this radio, when you key it up, on here, it shows you the name, the frequency, and over here, the PL tone or DCS or whatever. All that. But what I don't like about it, unless they've changed it, is when it scans and it stops, it's done. It will not continue to scan. So it really doesn't have a proper scanning function. Um, but otherwise, it's got the speaker behind the keyboard. Um, you've got about the same amount of keys. And figuring out what keys do what on all these different radials will keep you on your toes. I think on this one that that might be the scan button. So I, I think that's a decent radio. Um, if I remember correctly, the air band wasn't particularly strong on it. I thought the 470 was better. Um, the air band stuff's just kind of a gimmick. It's not really that important. So this one here, $23 with a 5% coupon. And I've been playing around with mine for a while. And it's just another UVK5. But it's a couple bucks cheaper, and it's something a little bit different. So I take it with me when I go somewhere because I can, you know, plug it in. Um, I probably, what I should do is probably get rid of the other radio I have and put this in my go box. These are just great for the price because you got the ability to unlock the radio and do all sorts of crazy stuff with it and charge it USB. So that means it could go in the glove box. The antenna is fairly compact. I like the form factor of these antennas. I've just heard that they're not very good. I don't know how true that is. This is the GMRS version of this radio. Not really sure what that means. We got these things claiming 10 watts. And the internet's choking. We got a yellow version of the H3. Maybe I should hold out for one of these. What do you guys think? That looks cool. I I don't know why I like that. But anyway, I do. However, it kind of looks like a toy. <laughs> you get quite a bit of crap with this. Two batteries. Four antennas. Two chargers. Two wall plugs. Two USB cables. Two workless headsets. $69.00. Uh, with 10% coupon, what does that end up being? 70, what's half is 70? It, uh, 35? That's not really... I don't know. Is that a deal? No. Because you could just buy one of them for 29 separately. But if you want that color, I think that's the only way you're going to get that one. Does it even have any nearby shipping? You can get it July 9th, so that's pretty far out. Amazon's been kind of struggling lately. And you watch, when they do this Prime Day, which if you guys don't know, 
I think it's July 16th and 17th. They're going to be so far behind. So, if, like, if there's something that you need to buy now, do it now before that time approaches because they're going to be swamped. Um, <coughs> they will be. <coughs> They've been in trouble the last couple of weeks where I'm at. Like, a lot of things are still not normal. Like, I don't know what's going on regionally. But, if I log into Prime, I find that I can't get much of anything. So, what they really want me to see this radio, huh? Then we got this one here, which is just a talk pod. And if it's anything like the yellow one, the A36 Plus, it's probably not a very good radio at all. I, I still can't believe some of the radios they still sell. And if you look, like if you look up UV5R, you will be absolutely amazed at how many they sell. Let me go type it in. UV5R. Like, it is still like one of the most successful selling radios. A thousand sold in the past month. This one right here. And the ratings on it are 75. 76% 5 star I mean I've got one brand new in the box because Amazon had gave me a credit and at one point in time they was uh, they were selling them Amazon fulfilled by Amazon sold by Amazon so when you, if you get like a, a special Amazon gift card credit it can only be used by items that were sold uh, by Amazon. This one here, a thousand sold per month. Three hundred. Whereas in contrast, fifty to this. Four hundred for this one. Two hundred. Two hundred. Four hundred. This one doesn't say. Three hundred. A hundred. Three hundred. Fifty. Two hundred. Um. 1K, this is the one that blows my mind. The price on this radio has not changed since 2015. It is still <coughs> $62. And I ordered one in 2015. And I could not hit my local repeater with it when I lived in Medford, Oregon. And there was a guy... Um, I think he was in near Central Point named Kirby and he had a repeater in his house anyway nice guy I brought it over to him put it on a bird meter and I forget what it was putting out I I don't it wasn't eight watts but um, we tested it we could tell something was wrong with it it wasn't transmitting the power on the intended frequency so although it might have been putting on 8 watts it was something was wrong with it so I, I just sent it back but I noticed that the price has never went down it's still quite expensive as far as these radios go and I guess the only thing you really get is the extended battery pack I just don't see why anybody would buy that radio but They've sold a thousand of those in the last month. If you need to buy any of these other ones, and they're a lot better. These claim to be eight watts too. So the, there's different types of people that buy these kind of radios too. There's just a lot of preppers and you know um, guys that you see driving around in jeeps and. You know, it's, it's, there's a lot of advertising and stuff going on behind all that. 
I have people use them for kids walkie talkies, GMRS, you know. Anyway, um, it's still a good radio, you know. But anyway, I got some stuff I got to get to, so I'm going to upload this video. We'll catch you guys later. You know, just keep an eye on uh, Amazon for deals if you're looking for deals, because uh, there's going to be some, like, before Prime Day deals. I definitely know that for sure. Um, I get little emails and tidbits of information from Amazon. They don't really tell me much, but, you know, anyway.